Okay, so uh, we've had a break and a uh, um, sharp scraper. And I, br I brought out these other two tools um, that I like to use. This one, some of you may have seen me use um, on the braces, the top bracing <coughs> video I did. And this one is a, another spoon bottom device. And these are ones that um, I was able to buy, but the bottoms were not to my liking. And so I brazed on a new piece of metal and recut the, the blade opening, etc. Anyway, turns out to be a pretty nice tool. Let's see if this one is set correctly. Oh, that's fine. So these are for places that that these um, bigger tools won't fit into. And these are really kind of the same size and shape as the regular um, violin maker's tools, the little carving planes that they sell to violin makers. But they have a handle on them, which to me um, changes everything, having this way to hold on instead of trying to pinch a little plane. Um, I find it fatiguing and, and kind of silly. So I think these are way better. Here's a good cut. Okay, see how our sharp scraper works. Great. So this is a scraper that's sharpened in a little bit different way, maybe than many of you do. So the edge on this scraper is sharp and very sharp, as sharp as you could possibly get it, so that it would cut, you know, paper, shave, um, and it's sharpened at about a 45 degree angle. And so unlike a lot of scrapers, well, here's an example as a useful edge on both sides, because the edge is square to the body of the scraper. This one has a, a 45 degree angle sharpened all the way around it, <laughs> which is a little, you have to be careful when you're sharpening it not to get it 
I'll cut off. It's really sharp. But after the burr is turned, it's pretty safe to hold. Yeah. As I mentioned, we'll, we'll have a scraper sharpening session pretty soon, I hope. can see how effective it is when it's really nice and sharp. Really a terrific tool. <laughs> you could argue that it's the best tool in the woodworker's arsenal. It's just so simple. A piece of metal. <laughs> um, and you can get all kinds of different results out of it depending on how you handle it, both in sharpening and in usage. <laughs> not quite, not quite curved enough. But I think you can see here that this style of scraper really deals beautifully with tear out and, you know, going so to speak, the wrong way, um, where edge tools tend to pluck and lift the material and tear it out. Uh, a scraper like this with a, a short hook burr can handle almost any problem in the wooden surface. And, um, you know, when you, get to figure out 
how to use it. It's really an incredible tool. Or, as I was saying, a set of tools, really.
So these are <clears throat> some of the most challenging parts are where the grain turns around, especially on a convex surface like this, where you're <laughs> trying to figure out what the right way to cut it is. This is scraper, as we have said, is much more forgiving of you know, fiber orientation and therefore tear out. Um, and still, you got to be careful. And that's the other side of spruce, of course. It's, it's soft and easy to cut, so you'd think that would be friendly, but it's, <laughs> it's also really tough and stringy, which is, I think, why we like the way it sounds. Um, and so that's turns out to be, um, can be a significant challenge to work with. So this is kind of cool because it's curved enough to get in anywhere. Um, there pr probably isn't a place on the, well, I know there isn't a place on the guitar where you can't use this to carve the surface because it's curved sufficiently to fit into any of the um, shapes. Well, at least on the guitars that I make.
Well, I think that's all I got for today. But it's been a lot of fun and uh, pretty darn close. So um, next time we'll, we'll do a little more shaping and some sanding and uh, have a look at what we got. Till next time.